By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to set up a hypnostencil effect like this on your avatar. So let's get started. For this, we're going to be using the Screen Space DLC. You can also use the Focus DLC, but the Screen Space DLC is going to be a little bit easier to work with. So let's find our hypno material that we want to use. Let's click on it and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'll rename this to have Screen Space at the end of it. In the Inspector tab, go to the Variant dropdown and set it to Screen Space. Now, find the avatar, find the armature of the avatar, and then the hip bone in the armature. Right click on it, 3D object, cube. Now, we're going to drag the Screen Space material onto the cube. And if we move forward now, we can see that the screen space effect appears as we get closer to it. An important thing to note is that the render queue of the screen space material needs to be higher than that of the render queue of your body. For example, the render queue of the screen space material right now is set to 2000. Our body is also at render queue 2000. So as you can see, nothing happens uh, as we go into screen space effect right here. If we set our screen space to 2001, and the effect immediately appears, as you can see. Make sure to keep this at least one above the render queue of your body materials. I'm going to make the screen space effect fade in by selecting the material, setting the rendering mode to dither transparency. And as you can see, it'll fade in. Next, we're going to set up the stencil on the screen space material. Having the screen space material selected, go into the rendering and advanced tab, go into the stencil tab, set the reference value to some value that's not zero. So I'm going to use 10. And I'm going to need to remember this value for later. Go into the Stencil Behavior tab and set the Comparison Op to Not Equal. Now we're going to set up the stencil materials of our body. So let's go into our body object and find the materials that the body uses. So we have the body, eyes, and specular right here. Now the way you're going to set up the stencils is going to be a little bit different for every shader that you use. But for this, we're going to be using Puyomi. It's the most common shader. But the general gist of it is that you're going to want to find the stencil configuration. In Puyomi, it's going to be in the Rendering tab right here under stencil. And now for the reference value, you're going to be setting it to the same value as you set it on the screen space material. So for me, it's going to be 10. And now you're going to set the pass operation to replace. And now if we go into the hypno effect, as you can see, the body is in front of the hypno, which is exactly what we want. But the eyes are not. Something odd is happening there. So let's go into our eyes material, into the stencil. As you can see, it's not set up properly. So let's, let's do the same thing here. Reference value to 10 and this to replace. And as you can see, now it's working properly. And you're going to want to repeat this process for every material that you want to appear in front of the screen space effect. Now, if we want to get the other effect that we've showed off, let's go back into our screen space and set the comparison op to equal. Now, the screen space is only going to render where the avatar is. So we have this different effect. And that's about it. Have fun.